All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a free website using Weebly.com. I've, I've made websites a lot of different ways, and Weebly.com really is the fastest, easiest way, has a great interface, it's just fantastic. Uh, it also hosts it for free. So what you're gonna do is go to Weebly.com, click on Login, and I'm gonna click the Google Plus Login. Now, I haven't actually created an account yet using this, but I'm gonna go ahead and click on uh, one of my Gmail accounts. If you don't have one, you can just hit sign up instead. But I'm gonna go to accept. And now it's gonna say, uh, it wants us to put in our email and password, right? Uh, well, I already have the account that I wanna use. So I'm just gonna create a new Weebly account using that Gmail account. Um, and then when it's gonna ask you some questions, just click site for now, if it's a store. Uh, you can choose the theme. Don't worry too much about this at all, okay? Uh, just the overall look. Don't worry necessarily about the picture, okay? Um, I'm just going to grab uh, this one right here, okay? I'm going to hit choose. And then it's going to ask you to go through like a tutorial and stuff like that. Don't worry so much about it. It does you ask you for a subdomain. This one is free. The rest of them are not, okay? So right now I'm just going to type in... This one's gonna be called Mr. Mr. Mark, what do you wanna say, Anderson. And it says it's available. So that's gonna be my website, mrmarkanderson.weebly.com. To get rid of that .weebly.com, if I wanna just make mrmarkanderson.com, that would cost money. So we can just start this way right now. And if we wanna put money into it later, we can. So I'm gonna hit continue. And it's, it's going to go through the tutorial if you'd like, but uh, that's what I'm here for, right? <laughs> okay, so um, what this is showing is, you know, I could put my name here. So this is Mr. Mark Anderson website. Wow, I'm already not liking this theme. So let me show you how to change that first. So if I go up to design right here, I can change my theme. That one's a little in your face, kind of large and everything. Let's maybe pick something a, a little more subtle. So I'm gonna choose this one right here and I can hit preview if I just wanna see it or I can just hit choose. I can also select my color. So let's start with blue and hit choose. Now you'll notice it did keep my Mr. Mark Anderson's website, which is great, right? So no matter when you change your theme, it'll keep all of your content. Um, now, if I don't actually want this header right here, the way it looks right now, I can go up to pages and I can choose, do I want a tall header? Do I want a landing page, short header, no header, okay? Um, let's go with a short header for now and see what that looks like. They also have splash page, it looks like now too. That's new for 2015. Let's go to save and edit. And you can see that now it's just <clears throat> text back here, right? So I can go to edit image and I can actually put something behind there. So I can choose one of the images they have or I could upload my image myself. They do have some great looking web, um, images though, so I'm gonna use one of theirs. And I can click through here and see which one I like. Let's say I select this one. You can actually um, change the position of it. I can do center, left, or whatever I want here. Um, ooh, let's say blur it now too, that's great. Um, so you could try that out yourself. I don't think we really need to right now. Um, or you can do fill. And basically fill is gonna stretch it so it makes sure it fits. All right, change image. Oops, I'm sorry. Nope, I had to hit save up here on the, uh, on the top. Save to all pages, looking great. Now you'll notice my text though, doesn't really show up the best because um, some of it's dark. So maybe a different image would work better here. Um, and you know how to do that now, so you can change it yourself. You can also hit this little gear right here and choose. Maybe on this one, I, I don't really want a header, or maybe I do. So again, I can go to pages and choose the one I want. Let's do tall header and hit save. All right, let's leave that alone for now. All right, next thing is, how do you actually get content onto this page, right? So let's say I do uh, text right here. I can drop that in. And what's new is used to do um, text and titles. So I can put something in here. Here is my welcoming message to my visitors. And then you can just say blah, 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 blah. All right, maybe I have a paragraph here. All right, great. Um, I can also put an image in, so I'm gonna drag that in. And you can see, do you want it on the top and take up the entire area here? Or maybe I just want it left justified. So a different way I could have done that. So to get rid of it, I can hit this X, delete. Yes, I wanna delete it. 
I want to bring the image in different. So instead of up here, I'm going to make it have a little square right here. And then my text is going to line up to the left of it, which is how I want it. So I'm going to click on my image here. And I have lots of options here. I can go image from URL, or I can go from my computer, and I can even search online too. So let's do image URL first. So I have this picture. I'm on Google. I went to images, got some Creative Commons Lee license images here. And let's say this is the image I want right here from Flickr. I have to hit view image. And as long as it ends with .jpg, it should be fine. So let's try this out. This one doesn't, but let's try it anyways. So I'm going to paste this in. Oop, make sure I copy it. So I'm going to do control C to copy the link. Go over here to control V to paste and hit insert. This says, hey, it's not actually a JPEG. So the problem is, is that on Flickr, a lot of times they add some characters after it uh, to not allow you to paste it in. So let's try something else. All these other ones are actually from creativecommons.org. And so these will work or Wikimedia. I can hit view image, copy this link here, and let's paste that one in. And you can see it ends with dot JP, JPG. As long as it ends with that or GIF or PNG, you're fine. I hit insert and wow, there it is. Okay, way bigger than I wanted before. So <laughs> let's shrink that down. I'm gonna scooch this in like this. All right, and maybe something like that is what I want. All right, great. There's some options I have too when I click on this image. I can edit image which I had those same options before. I can crop and rotate and change some effects and things like that. And you can mess around with that if you'd like. Or I can turn Lightbox on, uh, which is really useful. And I'll show you that in a second. I could link it to another website or a file um, or an email address. Like you could make something that says, click here to go to you know YouTube, and then it would go there. Um, and I also have spacing. Do you want to have like a, a border around it? and so forth. And they have advanced too. Here's gallery and whatnot. So um, oh, you can see, I, so what this light box thing does, which I always like to have, I'll show you what that does. So I'm gonna go up to here, hit publish. We won't be able to see that light box until we publish it. So I'm gonna hit publish and it says, do you wanna keep this right here? MrMarkAnderson.Weebly.com. Yes, I do. I hit continue. It says, select what you want it to be for. You don't have to actually do this stuff. If you want to, let's say it's a, a portfolio, <laughs> okay? And I can hit continue or I can hit skip. Now this is gonna make sure that I'm not a computer. So I'm gonna type in 2820 here. Okay, publish my site. Sometimes it takes a minute. And then when you click this link, your website should come up. There we are, Mick, Mar Mr. Mark Anderson's website. Got my header up here. Now here's what the light box does. If I click that image, it loads a bigger image of it, which is really nice. I, I like to have that. Um, let's say it's a photography website. That really makes sense. So let's close that out. And now I can leave this open if I'd like and go to the back to my Weebly. So I'm going to close this out and I can keep editing it. Now, this website, there's not really much here. Now, it says it has three pages right here when I hit this little drop down icon right here, right? Um, and I can add more pages to it. So let's go up to pages. You can see about and contact are right here. Let's add a page. Um, so instead of contact, let's do, let's say we're a teacher. We have, um, Computers one, all right? And I'm gonna do no header for this page, and I'm gonna hit save and edit. Now it's gonna to go to actually go to that page. And again, I can see I'm on computers one, right? I could drop in some text. And maybe also what I want is a YouTube video. So I'm gonna bring this YouTube video, I'm gonna put it right under that text right there. And when I do that, it's gonna say, what YouTube video do you like? You click on it, and you could just paste in the URL. So here's a, here's a video on, well, it's my video <laughs> from Tech Mind Blow. Uh, this video on how to edit some movies. So I can go in here, paste it in, and I can center it up or whatever else. I can also go to advance and tell it what size to be. And that looks pretty good. So I'm just gonna click out of there and I can put a title up here. Yeah, and I didn't even show you that either. Instead of just text, you can do titles. So maybe up here, I'm gonna say, you know, video editing, Unit one, I got to give, click this video for instructions. All right, I click off it, looks pretty good. Now let's hit publish here again, and let's see some of the changes that we just made. So I can click on my website here, and I bring my drop down menu, I can go to computers one there, and it, there it is. And if I play it, right. it plays just fine um, right here. So I, I embedded that basically. 
Um, now that's pretty good. But again, if you don't like the setup, I'm not a big fan of the little sandwich that Google kind of uses and now Weebly and everyone else. <laughs> um, if you want a regular menu and I want to kind of show you that page structure, what I would suggest is maybe trying a different theme. So again, I'm going to go to design and I'm going to change my theme one more time. Let's go with something you can adjust by styles. Let's go with something with a regular menu. So I'm going to choose this one. Show you what that looks like. All right. So here I have three pages. Okay. And let me show you what it looks like if I add a fourth. So I'm going to add a standard page. You can do blog pages and store pages too. Let's add a standard page. And I'm going to call this unit one. Okay. I'm going to save and edit. And you can see now that it's, it's in the top menu bar, right? But I actually want unit one or computers nine. So let me show you how to change that. I basically just push it in a little bit like that. And now this will be under the computers unit. So I hit save and edit. And you can see now it doesn't show up unless I hover my mouse over computers and then unit one will show up. So that's how basically the page structure works. Whatever's indented would be under the sum menu. And I can add even another page and I can put that next to unit one. Or I could even scooch it in and have that under unit one. So the way to work is computers one, unit one, and there's the next page. I think you understand that. You can mess around with it. All right, let's dra drag and drop a few more things in. So I got a picture here. That's okay. Looks all right. Um, go, to go back to my short header. Now you'll notice that it did actually change my image up here because I changed my theme, all right? But you can change that back, you know, just by clicking the image again. I do have other options. There are images and galleries and slideshows. Those are relatively easy, so I'm not going to show you that. Let me show you some of the page structure stuff instead. So I'm going to grab this divider. I'm going to drag this on the bottom here. Now you're going to just see a simple line like this, right? Um, and that's kind of nice. But you can also do dividers that are vertical as well. So um, let me show you that. Oh, wait. No, I need to use columns instead. My mistake. So let's say I had um, another text box. Oh, they don't have vertical commons. I mean, it's that, that's new for 2015. So I could do, a ver if I wanted another text box over here, let's say an image, um, you can drag it. Oops, sorry about that. Sorry about that. Let me go back to pages. There we go. Oop, let's try to select my stuff there. Um, when you grab a text box, you see how the line goes over here? That's because it's going to basically create a vertical column and push that over. So I could have some information over here, and I can grab some text and put, there, put that there as well. And this line right here, what this is doing now is it separates it. So do I want more room or less room? And you can go left or right with that. It's no longer you use actual the divider right here. That's only for vertical lines. So it's, it's pretty useful, though. They do have this buttons option. It, it looks OK. Um, and I can drop that in right under with my text or within it. And the way the buttons work is, you know, you can say, click here to email me, right? And the way the button works is you can choose a different style, um, but you can link, and you can link it to a website, uh, standard page, store page, file, but we're going to do email address. So you can just put your email address in there, tech mind blow, at, it's got to have the at in there, at gmail.com, and I hit save, okay? Um, or let's go to my other page. Let's go to my computer's one page. And um, oh, let's go to that video page. There we go. So let's say I want to put an assignment in there. Okay, I could put a button in there. That's one way to do it. All right. I could put a button in there, or I could just do text. Let me show you both. So I could say, click for PDF, or I could say, click here for a PDF. Either one's fine. You can use a button. I can link it, and I can go to File, and I can upload it. So let's say I upload this from my, from my um, from my computer. So I have this PDF here, open, and I hit Save, and there you go. That's it. Now you don't actually see a difference with buttons. So it just looks like that, right? With text, it's a little bit different. So let me just show you a few things with text too. So let's say click for PDF. Use this little link button right here. That's how you create a link. And I can link it to a file or a web page again. So let's say I link it to that same file. Or I could link it to a picture, let's say. I hit open. And there, that's done. So you'll see that the text actually changes color when you do that. One thing about the text box I, sh I probably should show you earlier is if you highlight this text, you can change things about it. You can bold, italicize, make it bigger or smaller. 
You can change uh, the color. You have alignment, bullet options, and then remove formatting, which is fantastic. I really like that. And they actually do have the undo and redo as well, which is good. Um, but let's publish that, and I can show you what that looks like quick. So if I refresh my page, here's my video page. Um, if I click PDF, there it goes. It goes. It loads that PDF I just uh, had in there. Or if I click this, it says click here for PDF, but we know it's an image. I click there, and it goes to this image instead. So it works really well. Okay. A couple other things. Um, you can go here on the right. You'll notice as YouTube for media, uh, which is great for videos. If you want to upload your own HD video or audio file, it does restrict the file size to 10 megabytes. Um, so you got to be mindful of that. I typically upload everything to YouTube and then just host it on the Weebly. Um, they have polls and forms and things like that. And that stuff all works great too. Um, I'm a big fan of Google Docs myself. You can do forms in there too. Some of this other stuff's a little more advanced, but it's pretty easy to use. So, you know, if you want to um, check it out, um, I'd say just try it. And if it doesn't work, then I'm sure YouTube videos out there for you. Um, let's look at a few of these other things. Let's go to settings. So settings. Um, you do actually want to name your site. Okay, so that's what's going to be showing up at the top. So I could say Mr. Anderson's website. Okay. Um, mobile, like if you want to display on mobile devices, you can choose that. You can actually upload a favicon, which is that little icon that shows up next to it. You can see right now it just shows a blank little page, right? Like on YouTube, if you're there, it should show. Oh, these don't actually either. Uh, favicons aren't really noticeable anymore, but it's that little icon that pops open right there next to it. Um, you can do passwords, but it costs money to do. Um, they have Facebook sharing. You can turn that on. And what I like is you can unpublish your site. Let's say you want it down for a while or it just didn't work out. Just an unpublished site works really well. Um, you can add editors to it, so you can add other people, which is really useful. Um, and you have members, like people that can actually log in. Um, but that's stuff like a lot of times that's premium feature type stuff, so we're not going to go over that. Um, pages, we already did. And let me just show you with design one other thing. Okay, so I'm on design. You can actually do change fonts. And you can like, so, so for example, right now, site title. I can, if I click on that, it lets me change the size of that site title. Or maybe I want to ultra light or bold or whatever. You can change the color here too. So that only changes the site title. If I want the navigation bar, you can see how they get highlighted as I scroll down here. So you just say navigation bar and site title, here's paragraph. So if I change the paragraph titles, let's say I want those a little bit bigger, it changes them on all the pages, which is really nice. So you don't have to go around and change it on each page. <clears throat> and they have other things here too. Um, so basically paragraph titles and paragraph text are probably the ones you're gonna choose to, to change. All right. There's other design options, like if I change blue, it changes it. All the areas that were in color, it changes those too. Like my link just went purple, or this purplish blue. If I went to the salmon color, it changes it there as well. And this isn't a very colorful website, but basically you change it here, and it changes it on all your websites, on all the pages at least. All right, I think that's about it. Um, if you have any questions, you can leave it in the comments section. Um, but again, when you're done, you hit publish. <clears throat> And you click on this link here, and you'll be able to see all the changes. Uh, if you'd like to see this one, it is mrmarkanderson.weebly.com. And um, you, know, you can see all the exact stuff we just did in this one. I hope you like it, and please subscribe to Tech Mind Blow for any video updates. Thank you.